Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining me. I'm Cheryl. This is Your Journey Yoga. And today I'm offering you a class that I did actually for my Zoom students, the classes that we get together in person. And when the weather's not cooperating, we get to do it online. So sharing that experience with you, I hope it's a fantastic class for you. Um, hour long, head to toe. We're going to focus some on the hamstrings and your hips. So hopefully you're going to feel that love as well. But I hope it's fantastic for you, my friend. And just take care, be well, and enjoy. Let's find a seated position that feels good and give those shoulders a nice big roll up and back and let your shoulders just gently slide down and away. Do that once more, big shoulder roll up and back and let those shoulders just slide down and away. Close your eyes. Turn your palms to face the sky, drift the wrists over the knees, maybe bring your index finger and thumb to touch. Nice, big, deep breaths in and out through the nose. Let the mind remain quiet. Our breath is slow and steady. We just take a moment bringing our awareness inward within the four corners of the mat. Let's turn the palms to face the shins just below the knees. Take a big breath in, press the chest forward, arch your back, face to the sky. And exhale, hollow the tummy and chest. Press your spine towards the back, tuck the chin. Inhale, press it through, arch your back, gaze to the sky. Exhale and hollow. Just your pace. Feels so good, just moving through the spine, get rid of kinks. One more time to that cat. And inhale it up. Nice and tall, release your hands down by your sides. Press the palms down towards the earth. As you exhale, release your chin towards the chest. Inhale, head up nice and tall. And as you exhale, lean your head to the right, right ear over the right shoulder, pressing that left palm down towards the earth. Close your eyes and just relax. Feel that really nice stretch all the way down that left side. Inhaling it up nice and tall. And as you exhale, lean your head to the left, pressing your palm, that right palm down towards the earth. Inhale, head up nice and tall, reach to the sky. Exhale, right hand down, left arm up and over. Get a little push with that right hand, lift the left side of the rib cage, turn your gaze towards the sky. Inhale, reach to the sky, both arms come up. And exhale, release that left hand down, right arm up and over. Give a little push with that left hand, lift the right side of the rib cage. Inhale, reach to the sky, both arms come up. Exhale, lengthen, hinge it forward. Release your hands down and let your head be heavy. Oh my goodness, that feels super good in that lower back and the hips. I hope it does for you too. And just let your upper body nestle down towards your lap. Inhale, lift just slightly, walk your hands forward just a little bit and release the weight of the upper body back down. Pressing your tailbone to walk down towards the earth. Inhale, circle the hands back by your hips. Big circle of those arms up and overhead, reach to the sky. And exhale, release your arms down by your sides. Let's take the other leg, put it in front, crisscross those legs, palms pressing down towards the earth, sit up nice and tall, and as you exhale, release your chin down towards your chest. As you exhale, roll your head to the right, right ear over the right shoulder, 
And we press that left palm down towards the earth. Opening up the sinuses a little bit. Two station tubes, ear canals. Get that great stretch. Let go of tension in the back. Inhale, head up nice and tall. And as you exhale, release the chin down towards the chest. And we roll it to the left, left ear over the left shoulder. And we press that right palm down towards the earth. Close those eyes, relax your jaw. We're working to let go of tension, so just make sure your eyes are soft, jaw is soft. Inhale, head up nice and tall. Inhale, reach to the sky. As you exhale, release that left hand down, right arm up and over. Give a little push with that left hand. Lift the right side of the rib cage. Inhale, reach to the sky. Both arms come up. And exhale, release that right hand down, left arm up and over. Give a little push with that right hand. Left side of the rib cage lifts. Oh, and just breathe. Inhale, both arms come up, reach to the sky. Exhale, lengthen, hinge it forward. Release your hands and relax the weight of the upper body down. Noticing if it feels different with the other leg in front. If so, where and how? Inhale, lift just slightly, walk your hands forward just a bit, and then gently release your upper body down. Nice, big, deep breath. Inhale, circle the hands back by your hips. Big circle those arms up and overhead. Reach to the sky. And exhale, release your hands down by your sides. Let's take that um, left leg and cross it up and over. If we need to extend that right leg, please do. So just straight out if that's too much of a bend in your knee. And we're going to wrap the crook of that right elbow around the knee. Sitting up nice and tall. We're going to get that left sit bone down towards the earth. And we're just going to look out over that back shoulder. Nothing crazy, so nothing too intense. Just really work on sitting up as tall as you can and work to level out your pelvis. So really finding both sit bones to the mat. As you lengthen through the crown of the head, we turn and we can look a little deeper, a little adding or a little more rotation. Just stretching that outer hip. Glutes. And then gently release that rotation. Let's pull that left foot out and away just a little bit and allow that left knee to sink. Now, again, you can still have that leg long. No worries. We're just creating a figure four. If that leg is tucked under, just a little different stretch for those hips. Make sure you're not going too, too deep. Still early in class. Just listen to your body. Make sure it feels right. Just sitting up. Gently relaxing that left hand, really focusing on your posture, that nice tall posture. And let's switch sides. So either extending that left leg or tuck it underneath, right foot crosses up and over. And we're gonna work again to let allow that pelvis. Sitting up nice and tall, we wrap that left elbow around the knee and pull it in nice and tight. Maybe turning and taking your gaze out over that back shoulder. Noticing if that right hip lifts, that right sit bone pulls off the mat. Really work to get it back down. As we lift through the spine, you're going to notice that you kind of sit up and lift that chest a little bit as well. Really minimizing that hollowing of the chest and that rounding of that middle back, but sitting up nice and tall. And then as you exhale, gently releasing that rotation. And we're going to slide that right ankle up and over, opening that right knee out to the side. And again, that left leg can be straight or tucked under you. Again, sitting up nice and tall, really work on that posture. Opens up the chest, makes the breathing a little bit easier. Just better for us all the way around, works the core a little bit more. And we're not doing anything crazy with that right hip. We're just resting that right hand. Uh, if you need a little extra time in any pose, please feel free to take it and then just join us again at your own time, at your own pace. As you're ready, releasing, rocking back to release those legs, come, come up onto those knees, hands and knees, tabletop. Hands are shoulder width apart, knees are hip width, core is nice and strong. Take a big breath in, 
And as you exhale, draw your right shoulder towards your right hip, right ear towards your right shoulder. And we're gonna look out just beyond your right pinky, creating a crescent shape or a C shape with your rib cage, your torso. Inhaling it to center. And as you exhale, we take it to the left side, left shoulder towards your left hip, left ear towards your left shoulder, and our gaze is just beyond that left pinky. We're activating those oblique muscles down the left side, stretching the ribs and the waist down that right side. Inhale it back to center. Now we're gonna move at the pace of our breath. As you exhale, right side, that crescent shape, and inhale it back to center. Exhale, left side, crescent shape, just looking out beyond your left pinky. Inhale it back to center. Let's do one more each side. Just moving with your breath. Mindful of what the body's doing. So we're always mindfully moving. We're staying present and we're listening to whatever's going on in the body. Coming back to neutral. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, extend your left arm and your right leg. Square the pelvis. Lengthen and reach from fingertips to toes. Lift out of that right shoulder. Add a flex of that right foot and a bend of the right knee. Sole the foot as it were we're standing on the sky. Reaching that left hand back, can you find your foot? Take a hold of it if you can find it. Pressing your foot into your hand as your hand guides your foot towards the sky and we lift our gaze. Breathe. Now if that's too much, just stay in your bird dog. Arm and leg extended. And gently release once again back to your bird dog and release it down, center your weight. Core strong, take a big breath in and exhale, extend right arm and left leg, lengthening and extending from fingertips to toes, lifting out of that left shoulder, core strong. Breathe, add a flex of that left foot, a bend of that left knee, sole the foot pointing directly towards the sky. You can stay here, you can stay in bird dog, or reach back with that right hand, taking hold of your foot. Foot presses into your hand as your hand guides the foot towards the sky, lifting your gaze towards the sky. And gently release. Extending the arm and leg back to bird dog. And gently release the hand and the knee. We shift our weight to our right hand, left arm extends to the sky, reach it up. As you exhale, pass that left hand through, shoulder taps, side of the head to the um, taps, and then we roll it back open and extend left arm to the sky. Exhale, pass it through, reach as far as you can reach, side of the head and shoulder tap, and we roll it back open. This time as you exhale, let's pass it through and hold that thread the needle. Right hand can remain where it is or rotate and reach. Right arm to the sky. Just as high as you can reach. We're gonna stack those shoulders. Close your eyes. As you exhale, releasing that right hand down, pressing it back up to tabletop. Center your weight, shifting your weight to your left hand. Right arm extends to the sky, reach it up. And as you exhale, pass it through. Little shoulder tap, side of the head tap. And then roll it back open and extend to the sky. Exhale, pass it through. Little tap. And roll it open. Next one, we're going to hold that thread the needle. Shoulder to the mat. Side of the head to the mat. Left hand can stay resting where it is or rotating the open, extending left arm to the sky. Reach it up high as you can reach. Stack the shoulders. Find your breath. As you exhale, releasing that left hand down, pressing it back up to tabletop. And let's sit it back to child's pose. Extend those arms out nice and long. Forehead towards the mat. That feels pretty good. Just checking in, stretching the shoulders, those thighs, your glutes, the lower back. Child's pose, hopefully a restful place. You're welcome to open your knees a little bit.
As you're ready, extend those arms out nice and long. Hands shoulder width apart. Spread your fingers wide. Let's lift the forehead. Tuck the toes. Press and lift your hips to the sky. Up to downward facing dog. Feet are hip width apart. Hands are shoulder width. Heads heavy and your face is soft. As you inhale, bend both knees. Lift your heels, drawing the bottom of the tummy towards the top of the thighs. And then exhale, extend those legs. Press your heels back down towards the earth. Again, inhale, bend the knees. A nice little tuck. And exhale, extend those legs. One more time. Inhale, bend the knees. Lift the heels, tummy and chest towards your thighs. And exhale, extend. We inhale it to high plank. And exhale it back to down dog. Nice stretch for those hamstrings and calves. Inhaling it to high plank. Exhaling into down dog. We inhale it to high plank. Toes or knees, crocodile down. Press it through up dog. And exhale to down dog. We bend the right knee, left heel presses towards the mat. Switch sides, left knee bends, right heel down. And then just walk it out. Alternate bending knees. As you exhale, it will feel sink. Taking the gaze between your hands, walk your feet in to forward fold. Relaxing the weight of the upper body down. Arms are heavy. Let's bring the hands to the elbows and hold on. Just feel that gentle pull down the backs of the leg. And let's sway side to side. Big, full, deep breaths. Coming back to center. A little shift of your weight forward into your toes. Ooh, that's going to deepen that stretch through those hamstrings, into those glutes. Center your weight and then shift your weight to your heels. Maybe lift your toes. Mm, stretching through the arch of the foot. Feels pretty good. And then slowly center your weight. Release your arms. Let's bend the knees as much as you need to to get the hands to the mat. And we're going to center that left hand out in front of you. Palm or fist to the mat. If you need a block, use a block. Rotate your body and extend. Right arm to the sky. Reach it up as high as you can reach. Really working on that rotation through the torso. So if you need to bend those knees, bend them. Find your breath. Circling that right arm around behind your back, forearm along the small of the back. Nestle the back of the hand against the back of your body and use that anchor to kind of help pull that right shoulder back even more. We once again extend that right arm to the sky. Slowly release your right hand down. Right hand takes the place of the left palm or fist to the mat. We rotate and reach. Left arm to the sky. Reach it up just as high as you're able. How high can you reach? Don't worry so much about if the legs are straight or if the knees are bent. Really working on that rotation. Strengthen the upper back, strengthen the obliques, and that added bonus of the hamstring stretch. Circling that left arm around behind your back, forearm along the small of the back, nestle the back of the hand against the back of the body, and use that anchor to help rotate you open even more. How's your breath? We once again extend that left arm to the sky, slowly release it down to forward fold. And ever so slowly roll yourself up. Brag go on your way all the way up to the top. With a big shoulder roll at the top and shoulders slide down and away. Let's do it again. Big shoulder roll. And let those shoulders slide down and away. Turning the palms to the front. Tummies are tight. Glutes are tight. Engaging throughout your body. Inhale, reach to the sky. And exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale, lift to monkey half lift. Exhale down, take a giant step back with your left foot. Back knee can come to the mat if you like, otherwise knee stays off and we circle those arms up and overhead. Breathe. 
Inhale, straighten that front leg a little bit. And exhale, sink. Stay low. Inhale, reach to the sky. And as you exhale, hinge it forward. Nice long diagonal line on the back of the body. Arms extended right up by the head. Opening those arms out to a T. Palms facing the earth, shoulders relaxed. As you exhale, sweep the arms back to flight. Roll those shoulders back and extend. The arms are just a little bit higher than your hips. And we're going to close those hands. Bring them towards one another. If you can, stack your hands. Breathe. You can kind of interlace your fingers if you like. Once again, open back to flight. Circle those arms up and overhead. And rise. As you exhale, open it to a nice wide V. Gaze to the sky. Inhaling it up nice and tall. Flow forward, hands on either side of your foot. Pull that left foot in behind your right. Crossing at the ankles. And relax the weight of the upper body down. Really nice stretch down the backs of the legs and into the hips. Ever so slowly, brand all your way up. Arms are heavy, head is heavy. Squeezing those inner thighs. Inhale, reach to the sky. As you exhale, right hand comes down, left arm reaching up and over. Lean into it. Stretch all the way down that left side. Inhale, both arms come up. Swan dive down to forward fold. Release that left foot from behind the right. Hanging in forward fold. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down. Take a giant step back with your right foot. Back knee to the mat if you like. Arms circle up and overhead to your crescent lunge. Inhale. Straighten that front leg a little. And exhale. Sink. Stay low in the legs, reach to the sky, and as you exhale, hinge it forward. Long diagonal line down the back of the body. Breathe. We open those arms out to a T. Feel those shoulders just gently slide away from the ears. Lengthening and reaching from fingertip to fingertip. Sweeping the arms back to flight. Palms to the sky. Roll those shoulder back. And again, those arms are just a little bit higher than your hips. Feels right to you. Let's stack those hands. Again, you can interlace your fingers if you like. Just keep them long. Feel that activation through the shoulders. Stay strong through that belly. Releasing those arms back to flight. Palms to the sky. Big circle of those arms back overhead. And we rise. As you exhale, arch it back. Open your arms to a nice wide V. Inhaling it up nice and tall, flow forward, hands on either side of your foot, draw that right foot in behind your left, crossing at the ankles, and relax the weight of the upper body down. And heavy. Mm, feeling that stretch from the backs of the legs into the hips, those glutes, and let's right all it up. Slow and steady, all the way up. Squeezing those inner thighs, inhale, reach to the sky. As you exhale, left hand comes down, right arm up and over. So as you reach over to the left, long stretch down that right side of the body. Hip flexors, rib cage, shoulder, waist. Inhale it back up, both arms reach to the sky. And exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Releasing that right foot from behind the left to forward fold. Inhale, up to monkey half lift. Exhale down, walk step or hop to high plank. Hold your plank, toes or knees. Lengthen through the crown of the head, strong through that belly, lifting out of those shoulders. Always better to have your bum be a little bit higher than to let those hips sag down towards the ground. Find your breath. As you exhale, crocodile down. Inhale, press it through up dog. And exhale to down dog. Let's sway those hips. 
side to side, feet are hip width apart. And just make that sway as big as you'd like it to be. Coming back to center, shift your weight to your left foot, right toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that right foot through. Back heel to the mat, windmill your arms up to warrior two. We open the pelvis, chest and shoulders to the side. We gaze out over that front middle finger. Inhale, straighten that front leg a little. And exhale, sink. Again, inhale, straighten. And exhale, sink. Stay low in those legs. Windmill that left arm up and over. Place that left hand to the inside of your right foot. Back heel remains on the mat. We rotate and reach. Right arm to the sky. Just as high as you can reach. We rotate that right palm towards the front. Reach it up and over. Turn your gaze down towards your right big toe. Reaching out through those right fingertips. Find your breath. Inhale, lift your arm to the sky, lift your gaze towards the sky, and as you exhale, release that right hand, hand down. Hand on either side of your foot, square the pelvis, adjust your feet if you need to, and then rise up to warrior one. Find your breath. Back heel presses into the mat. Chest tall. Breathe. Interlace your fingers, bring your hands behind your head, and as you exhale, Take your gaze to the sky. Just lean the weight of your head back into your hands. Feel that nice stretch through the chest, through the arms, through the shoulders. Inhaling it up nice and tall. Extend those arms to the sky. Opening those arms out to a T. Find a focal point out in front of you and shoot your weight forward up onto the ball of the back foot. And as you're ready, up onto that right leg. Add a flex of that left foot and let's roll it open. As we roll the chest open, pelvis open to the side, we stack the arms, we stack the shoulders, we do our best to stack those hips. Breathe. Bending your supporting leg, taking a giant step back, we come back to our warrior two. Inhale, straightening that front leg, opening the pelvis to the side, reach it out over those right toes. When you can't reach anymore, Right arm down, left arm high, triangle. Find your breath, rotating that left palm towards the front, reach it up and over. Long line from fingertip to hip. Amazing stretch through the waist, through the ribs. Inhale, lift that left arm to the sky. And as you exhale, release that left hand down, one hand on either side of your foot. Front knee bends just slightly. Draw that back foot halfway in. Back toes are still turned out to that 45 degree angle. Square the pelvis. We lift just slightly to help square the pelvis. We lengthen through the crown of the head. And then as you exhale, slowly release your tummy and chest down towards that right leg. Pyramid pose. Now we can keep our hands resting where they are, or if you like, bring your hands around behind your back. Interlacing your fingers, you can come to reverse prayer. You can hold on to your forearms or your elbows. If you have chosen to interlace your fingers, you are welcome to roll your shoulders up and back and lift your hands. Just take it wherever it feels right to you. Whatever your body's asking for, honor that. If your body's saying, please don't do that to me today, honor that. Slowly we bring the hands to the small of the back. We lengthen through the crown of the head as we rise, hinging all the way back up. And as you exhale, arch it back, gaze to the sky, reach your knuckles down towards the crown. And inhale it up nice and tall, release your hands. Step it forward to mountain. Inhale, reach to the sky. And as you exhale, release that left hand down, right forearm crosses the crown of the head and gently pull your head to the right. Relaxing the weight of that right hand. Left fingertips reaching down towards the ground. 
Again, just through another really nice stretch. Keep the neck and the shoulder. Opening up those eustachian tubes, the ear canal. Inhale, right arm lifts. Let's switch sides, left arm up, right arm down, across the crown of the head, and gently pull the head to the left. Relaxing the weight of the hands, reaching those right fingertips down towards the ground. Relax your jaw, soften your eyes. And breathe. Inhale, extend left arm, and then the right. And exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale, left to monkey half lift. Exhale, down, walk, step, or hop to high plank. Toes or knees, crocodile down. Press it through up dog. Let's add an optional push up if you like. To down dog. Find your breath. We shift our weight to our right foot, left toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that left foot through. Back heel to the mat, windmill your arms up to warrior two. Breathe. Sinking into warrior two, extending from fingertip to fingertip. Inhale, straighten that front leg a little. And exhale, sink, stay low in those legs. Windmill that right arm up and over, placing that right hand to the inside of your left foot. Back heel remains on the mat. We rotate and reach. Left arm to the sky. How far can you reach? How high can you reach? Rotating through the torso. Strengthen that upper back and those obliques. We rotate that left arm towards the front. Reach it up and over as you turn your gaze down towards your left big toe. Reaching and lengthening all the way down that left side. Supportive, but we're not leaning on that right shoulder too, too much. Staying lifted out of that right shoulder. Inhale, we lift that left arm, we lift our gaze back towards the sky, and exhale, releasing that left hand down. One hand on either side of your foot, square your pelvis, adjust your feet however you need to, and rise to warrior one. Squaring the pelvis to the front, Shoulders are soft. Inhale, straightening that front leg a little bit. Square the pelvis. And exhale, sink. Interlace your fingers. Bring your hands behind your head. And as you exhale, lean it back. Let the weight of your head be heavy. Opening up those elbows, stretching across the chest, stretching down your tummy. Inhaling it up nice and tall. Extend those arms to the sky. And then open those arms out to a T. Find a focal point out in front of you. Shift your weight forward up onto the ball of the back foot. And as you're ready, up onto that left leg. Add a flex of your right foot and let's slowly roll it open. Opening the tummy and chest to the side. Stacking those shoulders, stacking the hips, lengthening and reaching from fingertip to fingertip. Breathe. Stability, strength. We bend that supporting leg and take a giant step back once again to our warrior two. Straightening that front leg, opening pelvis to the side, reach it out over those left toes. When you can't reach anymore, left arm down, right arm high, reach it up. High as you can reach, triangle. We rotate that right palm towards the front, reach it up and over. Long horizontal line. Really reach towards that wall out in front of you. Rolling that right shoulder back, rolling that right hip. You should feel this amazing stretch all the way down that right side. Inhale, lift that right arm to the sky. And as you exhale, release that right hand down. One hand on either side of your foot, soft bend in that left knee. We're going to draw that back foot halfway in. Back foot still at that turn out to 45 degrees, and we square the pelvis, lifting slightly to lengthen through that spine, keeping the pelvis square, keeping that spine long as you exhale, lowering the tummy and chest towards that left leg. At your lowest point, take your gaze towards your back big toe. Left hamstring says hello. Make sure that it's not saying anything beyond hello, that it's not screaming at you. 
This can be a pretty intense stretch or pyramid. Hands can remain where they are. Options, bringing the hands behind your back, interlacing your fingers, coming to reverse prayer, holding on to your forearms or your elbows. So wherever you wish, if you have chosen to interlace your fingers and you wish to add that shoulder stretch, roll those shoulders up and back, lift your hands towards the sky. That's going to influence the stretch down the back of the leg as well, intensifying things. Make sure that your body is ready for it and in agreement with your decision. The gaze is still back towards your big toe. You might notice that your body's working hard to stay balanced. Indeed it is. Bringing the hands to the small of the back, interlacing those fingers, lengthening through the crown of the head to hinge all the way back up. And then as you exhale, arch it back. Reach your knuckles towards the ground. Take your gaze towards the sky. And breathe. Inhaling it up nice and tall. Release your hands. Step forward to mountain. Inhale, reach to the sky. And as you exhale, open those arms out to a T. Flexing the wrists, hollowing your tummy and chest, press your palms forward, spine back, chin down. Inhale it open and reach. Exhale, open those arms out to a T. Flex the wrists, hollow the tummy and chest, press your palms forward, spine back, chin down. Inhale it open and reach. As you exhale, swan on to forward fold. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down, walk, step, or hop to high plank. Toes or knees, crocodile down. Press it through, up dog. And exhale to down dog. Let's alternate bending knees, walking out. Find your breath. We inhale up to the balls of the feet. Exhale, press the chest and shoulders toward your thighs. Reach your sit bones high. And as you exhale, let your heels gently sink. We shift our weight to our left foot, right toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that right knee through, foot to the inside, to pigeon pose. Now you're welcome to come over onto that right hip. And draw that back leg in a little bit, creating that letter Z shape, if you wish, rather than pigeon pose. Find your breath. Let's place that right hand to the outside of your knee. Left arm extends out and circles around. Drawing your back foot in, taking a hold of your foot. You can find it along the inside of your foot, if you're able. And draw your heel in towards your bottom. We turn and take our gaze forward. If you like, extending that right arm out. If you like, lift it high. Breathe. As you draw that left heel in towards your chest or towards your shoulder, just a deeper stretch down the front of that left leg. Slowly releasing your right hand down. Releasing that back foot, circling that left arm up and over. Let's walk those hands forward to sleeping pigeon, either fully extending those arms out in front or stacking your hands and just relax the weight of your head down. Find your breath. We're going to add a little rotation, a little thread the needle here, only if you like. Otherwise, feel free to stay right here, extending that right arm out. Left hand's going to pass underneath the right arm, palm to the sky, reach as far as you can reach, and then turn and look out underneath that right arm, side of the head to the mouth. Mm, a little love for that right hip. If it does not feel like love, adjust. Inhale, lift just slightly, pull that left hand back through, and we come back to our sleeping pigeon. And slowly walk those hands back up. 
Let's come over onto that right hip and sweep that left leg around. Once again, crossing that left foot up and over the right. So I'm just gonna revisit this pose, Lord of the Fish, and see how we're doing. Wrapping the crook of that right elbow around the knee. Does it feel any different than it did towards the beginning of class? Sit up nice and tall and turn and look out over that left shoulder. We're going to get that left sit bone to the earth to sit up nice and tall. So be mindful of that roundness through that middle back. Really sit up tall. Feels good to you. Place that left hand behind you and maybe bring that right elbow to the top of the left knee and press against that knee. That's a deeper rotation. Anytime we add rotations, flexibility in the spine, massaging those internal organs specifically for digestion and elimination. So just kind of helping promote healthy digestion. Slowly release, releasing that rotation, sweeping that left leg back around. Hands on either side of your knee, tuck your toes, lift your hips, step it back to plank. Hold your plank. If you prefer, go into down dog or come to child's pose. A little strength challenge. Let's go four push-ups. Slow and steady. If you're not feeling four, it's okay. If you're feeling 10, knock yourself out. Breathe. Whatever feels good to you. Whatever's right for you. Right here, right now. Lift your hips to down dog. We meet in down dog. We bend the right knee, left heel presses towards the mat. If you're still working on your 10, take time and switch sides. As you exhale at both heels, sink. And then shift your weight to your right foot, left toes to the sky. Exhale and sweep that left knee through, twit to the inside. Pigeon pose on the left side. So again, if you need to come over onto that left hip, please do so. Take care of your knees. Make sure your body is in agreement with all the decisions you make. Not just because it's hard, but if it doesn't feel right or there's pain, make adjustments. Left hand to the outside of that left knee. Right arm reaches out, circles around, and let's draw that back foot in. Can you take a hold of it? Along the inside of your foot, if you're able, and we're going to pull that heel in. Nice and tight. Hello, quadricep and hip flexors. Mm hmm Feeling it. And we turn and take our gaze forward. If it feels right to you, extend that left arm out. You can choose to lift it and take your gaze. Find your breath. Make sure that it's right. And gently release that left hand back down. Gently releasing that right foot, circling that right arm up and over. Let's walk the hands forward. Again, either fully extending those arms or stacking your hands. Relax the weight of your head. And just breathe. So you can choose to stay right here because this feels pretty amazing. Or if you want to add that deeper stretch, you can also do that. If you wish, lifting slightly, extending that left arm out, right hand's going to pass underneath that left arm, palm to the sky, reach out as far as you can reach, and then relax down onto that right shoulder and the right side of your face. And just breathe. You can always change your mind. Be nice to your body. Listen to your breath. Sometimes your breath is smarter than we are. There's no place you have to be, no place you're supposed to go, other than to whatever is right for you. We pull that left hand back in just slightly enough to lift ourselves back out to our sleeping pigeon. Just settle it in. Take a minute, a few breaths, whatever feels right. And as you're ready, walk your hands up, one hand on either side of your knee, come over onto that left hip, sweep that foot, right foot around, crossing that right foot up and over the left knee. And then we're gonna work to get that right sit bone down towards the earth. Wrapping the crook of that left knee around, or the crook of the left elbow around the knee and sit up tall. 
We turn and take our gaze out over that back shoulder. And if it feels good to you, place that right hand behind you. Use it to prop yourself up even taller. And then maybe bring that left elbow to the top of the right knee to open. Just got a nice little crack in my back. That felt good. Sitting up as tall as you can. And breathe. Again, always just mindfully moving, listening to your body, listening to your breath, being kind, letting go of that ego, and just being present. It's all about finding a healthy, effective way to let go of stress, to improve imbalances in our lives. It's no competitions, and we gently release. Sweeping that right leg around. Once again, hands on either side of your knee. Tuck your toes. Step that left foot back to plank. And again, our strength challenge. You can hold your plank. You're like, I don't want to do a strength challenge. You can come into child's pose. You can come to down dog. If you like, push up. And again. And again. Two more if they're in there. Release those knees out nice and wide. Untuck your toes and press it back to extended child. And just breathe chin cheek or forehead to the mat. Find your breath. And let's slowly walk those hands up. Take your time. If you need a little bit longer, do so. Come over onto your hip. Slide on down towards the top of your mat. Let's extend those legs out long. Flex your feet. Reach to the sky. And exhale, lengthen. Hinge it forward. Release your hands. Relax the weight of your head. A little tuck of your chin. Mm, beauty stretch down the backs of the legs and into that lower back. Inhale, reach it out. Sit up nice and tall. Release your hands, soften your feet, and slowly take it back. One vertebra at a time. And relax. Drawing your right foot in towards your bottom, and then your left. Crossing that right ankle above that left knee. We pull the knees in, reaching that right hand through your little window. Interlace your fingers behind that left thigh and pull those knees in. Shoulder blades nestle down against the earth. And just use the strength of those arms to pull the legs in. Our figure four stretch so nice for that right hip. Extending that left leg if you like and flex your foot. Nice stretch for the calf and that left hamstring. Just breathe. We bend that left knee once again, releasing your hands, placing that left foot to the mat, right foot to the mat, crossing that left ankle over the right knee, pulling the knees in towards the chest, left hand reaching through that little window, interlace your fingers behind that right thigh, and gently pull those knees in. Shoulder blades nestled down against the earth. Just that great stretch for that left hip. And then we extend that right leg if you like and flex your foot. Big, full, deep breaths. We bend that right knee, releasing the hands, placing that right foot to the mat and then the left. Hands come down by your sides, palms to the earth. A little pelvic tilt. So the small of the back presses into the mat and ever so slowly press through your heels as you lift your hips towards the sky, peeling your spine off the mat, one vertebra at a time, up to bridge pose. We bring the hands behind the back, interlacing the fingers if you like, extending those arms as long as we can, rolling one shoulder underneath you at a time if you wish and really press to those heels, lifting your hips just as high as you can get them. Bridge pose.
We release the hands, unrolling those shoulders one at a time, and ever so slowly releasing back down, one vertebra at a time. Your bottom is the very last to touch. Extending your left leg out to relax it down. Right knee pulls in towards your chest. Right arm extends out to a T. Left hand to the outside of the right knee and gently guide your leg across your body. We turn and take our gaze out over that right arm. And then just close your eyes. If you like, bend that left knee, draw that left heel up towards your bum. Reach down with that right hand. Can you find your foot? Take a hold of it if you can find it and draw that right shoulder back down towards the earth. If you don't love that, just keep that left leg long and that right arm extended out to a T. We gently release that foot, extending that left leg back out, right arm out to a T. Let's roll it back to center. And extend that right leg to the sky. Point your toes, lengthen your leg, little extra rotation through that hip, and slowly lower your leg down. And allow it to come to rest. Left knee pulls in, right hand reaches across to the outside of that left knee, and gently guide it across your body. Left arm is extended out to a T, and we turn and take our gaze out over that left arm. Let gravity do all the work. This magic supine spinal twist, just ringing out any last little bit of tension in the shoulder, the neck, the lower back. If you like, bend that right knee, draw your heel up towards your bum, reach down with that left hand, take a hold of that foot if you can find it, and then nestle that left shoulder back down against the earth. Again, you can keep that right leg straight. Just find what feels good. And we gently release that right foot, roll it back to center, extending left leg to the sky, point your toes, lengthen your leg, little external rotation through that hip, and ever so slowly, lower your leg back down, and allow it to come to rest. Arms come down by your sides, turn your palms open to the sky. Uh, get rid of all the wiggles, make whatever adjustments you need to make to find a comfortable place. Let your eyes be soft, your jaw relaxed. You are welcome to remain on your back, on your side. You can roll to your tummy or come up to a seated position in some place that feels good to you. We take a few moments to really connect with our breath here through the stillness of our being. We allow the energy to flow effortlessly, removing and letting go of any blockages along the way. We allow our breath to flow effortlessly, calming and soothing. Again, our practice is all about helping to let go of tension, stress, to improve imbalances within the body, anatomically. We are different on both sides. We are all different. This is our journey, your journey, your journey to health, and lives to a path of peace, to living the best life you can live. And take time each and every day to really work to create the very best versions of ourselves. 
And as you put the hard work in today, let your mind, let your body read through the words. So just this gentle time away. Breathe. Relax. And just be. And as you're ready, gently drawing your knees in towards your chest, you are welcome to rock yourself up or roll to one side and use the strength of your arms to help you come up to a seated position that feels right to you. If you sit tall, rest your hands comfortably. Close your eyes. Just pull the hands to heart center and gently tuck your chin down towards your chest just a little bit. A moment of gratitude for today's journey, for this time to spend together, time on yourself. And just finishing with a few words that you're welcome to take with you today or let them float on by. May your troubles be less than your blessings. Your blessings be more and nothing but happiness walk through your door. Gently lift your gaze, open those beautiful eyes. And I just wanna say a humongous thank you guys for being here. Happy Monday. I hope you have a fantastic week. I hope I get to see you more than once this week, but um, just take care of yourself. Be well. And until the next time, Namaste.